we were walking downtown um, one night in Jeju and it was raining and we had like our rain jackets on but no umbrella. All 영상으로 전해드리고자 합니다. 특히 이들은 제주에서 열린 합창 공연에 참여하기 위해 1억이 훌쩍 넘는 경비를 부담할 정도로 한국행을 고집했다고 하죠. 한국 공연을 계기로 자신의 인생이 달라졌다고 말하는 미국인 학생들의 모습과 한국 관객들의 무엇이 그렇게 특별했는지 학생들의 소감을 번역해 전해드리겠습니다. I know there will be people on this trip. that will separate their life into two categories, and that's before they went to South Korea and experienced what they experienced, and then after. You were on a, just on a plane for 15 hours uh, from Dallas all it, the way. It was long. I experienced something spiritual, I guess. There was no, no beginning and no end. Time stopped. We we're about to hop on a flight to go to Jeju Island. Okay. And what's happening then? Uh, we've got a concert tonight, and so we've got a sound check at around Four, five, and then we perform at the opening ceremony. This is outside right now. We are getting ready to take a walk. You can see some of the mountains around. The audience was super involved and just Absolutely. super receptive. So that was awesome. You never know, you know, we're yeah. halfway around the world. Don't exactly know what we're going to get, but they loved it. So. For our first few concerts, um, once we all got out to the lobby, uh, the Indonesian choir just started singing. And then it was this huge song and it turned into this sort of like celebration party and we were all dancing together. All of these people who like, we don't even know each other's languages and we were all just singing and dancing, having the absolute best time of our lives. From my viewpoint on stage, I'm kind of at the edge so I can really see the audience really well. Um, and so it's so cool to look out and just see people smiling and singing along during Arirang and just you know, doing hearts in the audience and they just love it and they just live for it and they just appreciate it so much. And so we're just so lucky, so blessed to be able to perform for an audience that just lives and breathes music like we do. After I finished a solo and uh, Mary Had a Baby, I just felt like, kind of like a superstar. I can't lie. Um, it was uh, really, really cool to be welcomed like that. The first time we sang Arirang, to a South Korean audience, um, they like lit up and enjoyed it so much, um, it seemed, and were so pleased that they were, they were singing, a, or that we were singing a song that is, that is deeply important. The Korean people are extremely grateful and they, are, they show their gratitude in a number of ways. I just feel so welcomed and so accepted by everyone that I've come across. In our concerts, their applause was just beautiful, not only for us, but for each other and for the other ensembles was really special to witness. Uh, we were walking downtown um, one night in Jeju and it was raining and we had like our rain jackets on, but no umbrella. Um, and we were waiting for a uh, walk light to turn green. Uh, and this couple who had an umbrella, who were just standing there waiting, chatting, looked over and were like, do you want, do you want under the umbrella? They offered to just come let us stand under their umbrella in their personal space just because they could and because we didn't have one. I love the energy of the people and I want to embody that and take that with me when I go back. Korean generosity and willing to help. It's remarkable. I will never forget that, really. My sense of humanity has grown because just being in like just in cultures that are different from my own is just really really special
So the second thing that I'm probably going to remember forever is just all of the relationships I've built on this tour because there were so many people in Corral that I had just never really talked to before this. And I have built such strong friendships with so many people I would have never thought I would ever like have a very deep connection with. I was so thrilled for our singers and our students to be able to experience choirs from all over the world, to hear the sounds of Estonia, to hear the sounds of Latvia, the sounds certainly of South Korea, the Philippines as well. It was exciting to just have us immediately be immersed <laughs> in this international experience. They're different people now after having experienced different cultures. Having a broader picture of humanity and realizing that we have more in common with each other all over the world than we don't. Aramdaun 인도네시아 미나하사, 탱가라 남성 합창단 등 일곱 개국 해외 합창단이 뜻을 모았다고 합니다. 오늘은 한국에서의 특별한 경험을 전하는 미국인 대학생들의 이야기를 전해드렸습니다. 오늘 내용도 흥미로우셨다면 좋아요와 구독 버튼 눌러주시면 감사하겠습니다. 항상 함께해주시는 구독자 시청자 여러분 감사합니다.